constituency, 19% of sales in 2017 involved leasehold homes. Now, that's nearly one in five home buyers who are experiencing the injustices of yeah. the leasehold process. I've received 54 responses, Mr Deputy Speaker, to a consultation <coughs> I launched on this matter. And from those who responded, there was an overwhelming sense of injustice and frustration with the leasehold process in line with the findings of the Select Committee. Constituents said, I feel stuck in a loop being held hostage and have nothing to leave for my children. One of the most common situations I have heard about is when homeowners wish to move homes to downsize before retirement, but no company will offer a mortgage on the property because the lease was not long enough. So they have either had to try and find someone to buy cash in hand or extend the lease. The lease. But Extending the lease will then cost them at least £10,000 or more. And this is frankly not an option for many of my constituents who um, are wanting to use that money for, uh, to live for the rest of their retirement. The Minister has stated many times that at least there is choice in the property market for those who may not wish to buy freehold. But the evidence collected by the Select Committee and the heartfelt responses I have received suggest that the so-called choice is anything but... It's not a choice if there is a lack of information about what leasehold means. When 36% of the responses to my um, survey said that they were unaware of what leasehold was or meant at the point of sale. It's not a choice when home buyers are not told the property is leasehold until the very day they're signing for their new home, as three of my constituents told me. And it's not a choice for the 13 of my constituents who told me that after saving up and wishing to buy the freehold, they found that after paying numerous administration fees in the hundreds of pounds, that the freeholder then said simply they were not willing to sell at this point. That's not a choice for those families. And another injustice I'd like to raise in the time uh, uh, we have left is that of leases being sold by the freeholder to third-party yeah, companies yeah, yeah. without any consultation, uh, yeah, correspondence yeah, or yeah. notice given yeah, yeah. to the <coughs> leaseholder. Where is the accountability? My constituents are telling me of their increased anxiety at the fact that their property does not feel like their own and that outside people control their destiny. Does the Minister agree with me that this is not healthy for any family to go through in the home that they've worked and saved and are paying for? I hope the Minister understands that this is not just a case of a few people feeling a little disgruntled at the system. I hope she really does take into consideration the well-researched Select Committee recommendations and specifically hope that she considers an investigation into the widespread mis-selling of leases. Yeah. Oh, and I urge everybody here to have as the backdrop to every single decision we make the emergent climate change emergency that our country and our world is.